back left front. It goes to Edwards Hilaire. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Hey, Victory Monday will have to wait as the Chiefs game is now not happening until today on our Monday. Cross your fingers for a Victory Tuesday, yes. though, right? Those are also just as sweet. Uh, we were not planning on this at all. It was a wild turn of events this weekend. So let's get you all caught up to speed for everything you do need to know. So Saturday morning, the news broke that New England Patriots quarterback Cam Newton tested positive for COVID. And just hours later, Chief Practice Squad quarterback Jordan Te'amu also p tested positive. And then yesterday, we learned both the Patriots and the Chiefs didn't have any additional positive tests. The two teams will now play tonight at Arrowhead with kickoff at 6 o'clock. Uh, on right here on KCTV5, but they have to get through some testing this morning. First. Yeah, that's true. That's the first hurdle and just 12 hours until we'll know if they will take the field at six o'clock. Now we were curious how the NFL works to keep its jet setting roster of thousands of athletes, coaches and staff COVID free amongst all that chance for exposure. It's definitely a challenge. Abigail James joins us live from Arrowhead this morning after looking into the NFL's protocols. Abigail, what did you find out? Well, Gina, Joe, first of all, the NFL health and safety protocols is a very expansive and detailed list. Of course, these players, coaches, staff, they're not playing uh, and working in a bubble. But so the key here is to mitigate those risks uh, for the protocols. The NFL has a special roster uh, that it's a, re a special reserve list called reserve COVID-19 for players who have to be removed from the active roster because of the coronavirus. But just because of player is put on the list does not mean he tested positive for the virus. The list includes both players who have tested positive and those who have come in close contact with somebody who has tested positive. Now, players who are put on the list must follow return protocols, such as a second negative test within 24 hours of the initial negative test. They will also be subjected to increased symptom monitoring and eight days of daily virus testing. Now, the NFL's chief medical officer was asked when it comes to the cases with the Titans, whose team saw over 10 or so cases, is there anything that could have been done differently. Here's what Dr. Sills had to say. This isn't about casting blame against anyone. This is about finding are there things that we can change or do or improve for, for better going forward. And so we're looking at everything. There's no detail too small. Now, of course, this is not something that we want to have happen, but it's always a possibility. Coming up, we'll tell you what it would take for tonight's game to be canceled. Reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV 5 News. All right, let's hope it doesn't happen and it goes on as planned yes. this time. Abigail, thank you. We don't